down, but we have to hold bell loops. How could we have at any moment? Flash floods are very unpredictable. Listen to your father, Amory. He's been studying weather patterns for years. Get it. Can we open our eyes yet? <laughs> Never ask you to close them, son. <laughs> Here we are, gang. There are the extra batteries, and there are the multi-sex glow vests. Oh my gosh, Paul! You've done a great job of preparing the safe house. I mean, I can't believe how well stocked it is. Well, Sharon, there's no telling how long we could be down here. Days, weeks. Let's not get ahead of ourselves, dear. The forecast said a flood warning. It's a flash flood. We had one of those in Essex County last month. Marty Cameron's terrier drowned. God, I left the water heater on. <laughs> Good Christ. Also, their refrigerator lost power. But that was because her mom took over the cord that was plugged into the refrigerator and forgot to plug it back in for like a week. They lost so much produce. Well, we have got plenty of food right over here. I mean, we could have ourselves a regular camping trip. Why don't you help me wrestle up a menu for dinner, Amber? It'll be fun, get that girl. Come here. Hey, Dad. Hey there, pal. Anything I can, I can do to help? No, no. <laughs> Not right now, I'm just trying to get an idea of inventory. What are you thinking, Dad? Uh, while you're at it, I just uh, have something I'd like to discuss with you. What's that? It's just gotta be connected. What? This! Every great natural disaster has occurred on the second square root of the day, divided by nine times a day, which is four lesser times greater than the day of the equal value that it was ratioed in. Which is always the day after I beat Billy Epstein at Pokemon. <laughs> Wait a goddamn minute. Give me those. How could I have been so blind? Dad, there's more. I, I destroyed Billy Epstein at Pokemon yesterday. Which means that if my calculations are accurate, which I'm pretty sure they are, that this flash one that's coming right now at this One very moment is... big son of a bitch. Well, we have round up quite a spread for tonight. I'm thinking can Lima be the start of the side of this box gravy that Amber found. Great find, Amber. I love gravy. Whatever. And then we can put some canned peaches and There's no time food. for provisions, Sharon. We've already moved on to phase seven. Phase seven? What's phase seven? Look, the other survivors are currently in phase seven. Paul, what's going on? Sharon, family, I need you all to stay calm. Uh, I, as your father, leader, am alerting you, subordinate units, that we are currently in phase seven of the Terry Giles Apocalypse Survival Blog's 15 phases to your family's success and inevitable destruction of the human race. What? Is that what this is? This safe house? Those thousands of dollars you spent to see that weird old Jerry Giles man speak at those weird old conventions? Terry? Giles, and it's not weird that money was an investment. Paul. It's what built this safe house, it's what has saved our family from the extinction of the human race. We could have used that money, Paul. Amber's been looking forward to bassoon camp all summer. I love playing bassoon. Yeah. And how long have you been filling our son's head with this nonsense about the extinction of the human race? It's a flash flood. Cut. Hey, so Marnie Cameron's having a unitard party. I'm gonna go now. <laughs> Don't you understand? There won't be any Marnie Cameron. Paul, stop it! You're scaring the kids! Stop me, Mom! I've been my entire life for the end of days. I've actually been wearing a diaper for a week and a half in preparation. Good thinking, son! <laughs> Pretty soon we'll all have to wear diapers. Oh, I thought you said you installed indoor plumbing no, in No, no, no. The Terry Giles Apocalypse Survival Blog very clearly states that indoor plumbing is a pyramid scheme invented by Home Depot to make you feel like less of a man and we will learn to live without it. <laughs> this is gay. I'm going to the unitard party. Don't you understand? There won't be any unitard parties. <laughs> We're the only ones left. This is it. We'll have to start afresh. A new civilization born from the survivors. Brother will lie with sister. Sister will lie with brother. Oh! Have you had your first blood? Hey. Answer me. Have you had your There is no getting out, Sharon. <laughs> <laughs> and what's that supposed to mean, Mr. Big Stuff, huh? <laughs> Terry Giles left no stone unturned and he designed his Q20 safe house. These walls 
are lined with four feet of military grade titanium and that door is bolted shut. This is absurd! You'll thank me at the dawn of the new world, years from now, when we crawl from the rubble and look out at what's left of what was once our planet Earth with our daughter brothers and our sister husbands at our side, you'll say, there, there's the man who saw it coming. <laughs> and who saved humanity in his safe house. He didn't need Home Depot or Barry from accounts to tell him how it had to be done. That there is Paul Steamer, the man who gave us life. <laughs> Where the hell have you all been? The rain finally let up and I need someone to drive me to the Walgreens before Arrow starts. This diabetes isn't going to insulate itself. <laughs> Let's go, kids. Come on. Come on. Oh. Maybe next time, dear. But the numbers. <laughs> uh.